Okay, going to do a quick rundown of the F1 shortcut. Um, to get to your shortcuts, you're going to hit Alpha, and you got F1, F2, F3, F4, and F5. If you click on one of them, you've got these options that show you that what F2 would be, that's what F3 would be, and that's what F4 would be. Um, we're going to do F1 for our fractions. For our fractions, we have the option of the first option is just a regular fraction numerator over denominator. The second option is a uh, mixed number, so it'll have a whole number and then a fraction. Um, the third option will switch back and forth between an improper fraction to a mixed number. And then fourth option it goes fraction to decimal and then also back to from decimal to fraction. Uh, so let's use, first of all, we're just going to go ahead and select the first option and we'll just make up a fraction. Let's say we want to use 5 eighths. We'll put a 5 on top to get to the bottom. Just hit the arrow key down and then to come off your fraction hit the arrow key to the right. And um, let's say I want to add that 5 eighths. So I'm going to add 5 eighths to, let me select another fraction. This time we'll use an improper fraction so I'm going to select the second option by hitting down on the arrow key. And so I'm going to use the mixed number Type in, let's just use four and three fourths. Okay, so if I wanted to add those together, all I have to do is add them and hit enter. Now I have an improper fraction for my answer. It's 43 over eight. So maybe I want that to be a mixed number. So I go down to the third option. It's gonna change that improper fraction to a mixed number for me. All I gotta do is hit enter. It says answer, and then it's got the uh, fraction or the improper fraction to mixed number. Uh, top 10, hit enter, it gives me 5 and 3 over 8, which is correct. Um, 5 times 8 would give me 40. 40 plus 3 gives me the 43 that's on top there. Um, but let's also say maybe I want that in decimal form. So I'm going to go to my fraction tab, fraction to decimal, hit enter, select that, and hit enter again. It gives me 5.375. So that just gives you a quick rundown of what the F1 shortcut does with the fraction mixed number, improper fraction to mixed number converter, and then the fraction to decimal. Um, that's basically it.